This is a transaxle or transmission for a 2006 Pontiac G6 with a uh, 3.9 liter engine with the MFR CDMT2 transmission or transaxle. Uh, so this transaxle, it's a six speed, it's got six forward gears and one reverse gear. And just real quickly, we'll go over a couple, couple of points you can see. Right here we have the interlock mechanism, and that just keeps keeps the driver from selecting more than one gear at once. It just keeps it just one gear. You can't select Show two gears. Cut. You can see that if I try to select two in the middle, it doesn't let me. Let's do one. And then we've got the detents right here. There's one right here, and there's two on the back here. And all those do is when you are in a gear in that selected gear, it keeps it in that gear. It keeps from bouncing off into neutral or into another gear. The shift rails cannot let it be yeah. in any other gear. So also on the back here. We can see that there's two main shafts. There's no counter shaft on a transaxle. Transaxle, excuse me. There's the upper main shaft and lower main shaft. Um, and you can tell that because if you look right here, you've got synchronizer hub and selecting fork. And then also on this lower main shaft, we have the same thing right here. Synchronizer hub and selecting fork. So there is no, no counter shaft per se. They all kind of act as the same thing. So we slide it over here again. Let's go over the flow of power real fast. So this is the input from the engine, or I guess the engine outputs here, but the input to the transaxle. Um, it goes through these gears, and then there's, back here, there's a gear which is in constant mesh, which with the differential, and that creates the final drive ratio. You can see a slight bit of yellow, there we go. That's a good view of that gear with that yellow paint on there. Just that dot. Okay. So that's the final drive ratio. And that one connects over here to this differential gear. All right, so if we shift into reverse real fast, you can see it moves this back fork, and this right here is reverse idler. So this is the actual gear that slides over on the shaft. Shift it again, Sean. All right, so if we come back up here, we can shift into first. First gear, just pull up on this, select first, and the flow of power goes in through here, and then it goes into these two gears right here, and then out the final drive. There we go, there's a good view of that, the yeah, synchronizers we, and the hub assembly. Down if we there. turn around, you can actually see that it's the lower main shaft that is the selecting first and second gear, and I'll go through that real fast. So there's okay. first. There's second. And then from this back side, you can also see the third and fourth shift fork. Go ahead and shift it between third and fourth. All right, so there so we that's go. that's third. Fourth. And that's fourth. Okay. And that is on the upper main shaft. The, you can see that moving. And if we come back around, we can see fifth and sixth right here on this last fork. That's fifth. And that's sixth. So like I said, there's no counter shaft. These both act as main shafts. There's an upper main shaft and a lower main shaft. So, so the power flow, if we were to go into fifth gear, right now, which is in fifth gear, comes in through here. It goes through this shaft, and it selects itself through this fork right here, which is fifth gear. Travels down here, and then back up to this gear, which is the final drive ratio. And it's behind that, it's kind of hard to see. And that's the flow of power on this transaxle.